Welcome, YouTube. Um, I figured I'd uh, create a video. Um, I just purchased a Tesla Model S 70D, and uh, most all the electrical wire installations are done by guys that um, I'm not sure, but they haven't ordered a Tesla. They're electricians. And uh, I'm not really an electrician. I did go to school for electrical, but I'm actually an IT guy. So I figured I would actually wire this up so you guys can see, like, what a guy that actually owns a Tesla would do to wire it up himself. Um, so I'm fairly handy that way. So if you look here, we have the actual box in place that's in my garage. And uh, the main three things that I purchased besides wire is a 50 amp breaker, square D 50 amp breaker from Home Depot. Um, and then I basically just have one of these guys here, this little housing unit to house the actual receptacle. And then I bought the actual NEMA 1450 adapter as well. And as you can see, it has the four prongs. You got the two hots, which would be like your black and your red, and then your neutral, and then your ground will be here. And I'll show you guys how to wire that um, in later in the video. So here's the front of that. Here's the back of it. Really cheap, probably about four or five dollars from Home Depot. This is this is about like a dollar forty nine from Home Depot. Really cheap. And then also, uh, you're gonna need the breaker as well. So I'm gonna kind of disconnect my camera here so you guys can kind of see inside of my box. And uh, if you look inside of here, this is uh, my breaker box. And here's the actual 50 amp breaker that I purchased that I added to the breaker box itself. So obviously when you're wiring, you gotta preach safety. You don't wanna wire in a hot box. So I actually um, turned off the breaker inside my house um, so that we can you know, play inside of here. And uh, if you guys have um, a voltmeter, which uh, you can buy from Home Depot as well, they're re really simple to use. You can basically test to see if you know you have voltage in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Let me go off camera to grab my voltmeter. So this is a kind of an old voltmeter. It's a uh, Craftsman. I'm not even sure if they make them anymore, but uh, if you look here, uh, they have v uh, volts DC, volts AC. You're just going to flick it to volts AC, and you got to make sure that your red lead is in the actual voltage area, right down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure and see if there's any voltage in this box. And I'm not sure if you guys can kind of, if you can see or not, but uh, let's get you a little closer in here. If you look here, here's our main line. This guy right here is our main line coming in from the house. And that's got actually 240 volts coming into this box. So if we go ahead and measure the voltage, and I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see. We'll try to get this so you guys can see. Anyways, I need a, I need a third hand. So I'm gonna actually measure from, you can't really see the voltmeter on top of the box, but I'm gonna measure from uh, the red lead the white lead that should be 120 that's basically zeros on the voltmeter and from the white lead to the black lead should be 120 as well it's not and then red to black should be 240 and it's zeros all the way around so I, I that's basically what I do because I want to make sure that there's no voltage in there we don't want to get electrocuted so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on with the installation so step by step what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna actually mount that blue box that I had Grab that. This is going to get mounted on one of my two by fours. And then we're going to run wire from the box to here and then we'll wire up the receptacle. Okay. All right. So we, uh, we got it all wired up here. A little pain in the butt, but, um, so we got, like I said before, in the last, the last cut here, we got the, the red wire here is your hot that goes on the one end of the, uh, the breaker the 50 amp breaker. The black one goes in the other end, the other side. Uh, your neutral goes into the neutral and then your ground goes into the ground. Here's a little uh, better look at it. You can kind of see again, here's the hot, hot, going to each end of the, of the actual 50 amp breaker. And then your neutral goes into neutral and then ground goes into ground. That's gonna send us 240 volts down this, this wire. So that's where we're going next. 
we're actually going to go down this wire and then we're going to wire into this box. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that done right now. Okay, so we got the wire, as you can see, um, connected in the, our little blue box here. So it goes from our electrical box through a couple of our 2x4s into our blue box here. And I actually kind of like ran it this way because uh, uh, if you look at my garage here, um, the Tesla is going to be coming in into the garage and the, the back end of it is going to be on this side. It's going to be, you know, as we come in, it's going to be on this side here. So, and the charge is on the far side of the, of the car. So when we plug in, if I would have uh, wired this down there by the, the electrical box, it would have been really difficult to, to plug it in because you have to kind of go over top of the car. So we're putting it back here as recommended by Tesla so we can kind of like plug it in here and have enough room to go around the back end of the car. Anyways, so here's our little blue box and I'm just gonna um, show you guys how to wire in the receptacle. I think this is pretty much, you guys are probably fast forwarding uh, to this area because this is where, you know, I'd want to know how to wire it up. So let me go grab the receptacle real quick. And uh, so let's take a quick peek at this thing. So it is the NEMA 14-50. And uh, the way it's going to get wired up is you're going to have the two hots here. So the black and the red. It doesn't matter what color goes where. Uh, it could be red, black, or black, red. doesn't really matter. Um, your ground up here. And then this is going to be your neutral. So again, your two hots, red and black, ground, and your neutral's in the middle. So let's go ahead and get uh, this wired up. Last but not least is our neutral down here at the bottom. And he, she goes right in the bottom. Enough, we have our two hots going on the two sides, our neutral here and our ground here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to bend it up and fit her all inside here. Again, wish me luck on that because these are really heavy gauge wire. Difficult to fit everything in, so you may, it might be a good idea to buy a bigger box. But that's how, that's gonna have to do it right there. Cool. So, now there you have it for the most part. I'll have to do some more work to work that in. You don't need to really watch that. But so there we go. So that's our plug for uh, to charge our Tesla, and um, I think that that's pretty cool. Can't wait to actually get the Tesla and do some charging. But um, very very simple to do. You can buy all the parts from Home Depot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's very unprofessional. I'm not a good video taker, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys that. A guy that's buying a Tesla can wire his own stuff too. So I'm going to go ahead and do some testing. Um, I recommend obviously once you get it wired and you get you turn the power on, go ahead and measure your voltages. You're going to have between these two, you should have 240 volts. Obviously between your ground and each one should be 120. Alrighty, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.